Greetings, fellow armchair imagineers. Tiki here. And Blue Dragon 5. And welcome to a holy crap, that was intense episode of Tiki's Universe, the show where we wish we could react to it live on air. But I, I'm terribly sorry, Dragon. Of all the episodes, man, of all the episodes, wow, wow. So, folks, if you haven't been following along, we've been trying to explain it at the start of all the Steven Universe podcasts. We are kind of in copyright uh, hot water, as is a lot of other people on YouTube. I mean, you know, it's not just exclusive to the PewDiePies of the world. You know, us smaller channels get hit with this copyright nonsense, too. So, alas, uh, to try and keep in good standing, and most importantly, to not get the channel completely shut down for bullshit reasons, we're going to just be talking about Steven Universe instead of reacting to it. I'm terribly sorry about that. It really pains me to do that, especially with an episode like this. But it's what has to be done to keep the channel afloat, unfortunately. So, Dragon, holy crap, what an episode. Yes, yes. Oh, boy, oh, boy, this episode wow. was a... Uh, <laughs> was, again, this couples so well with the previous one. It's like That's all the great setup and like, the injury of the... Like, five the minutes stuff. into this episode, they have like monumental, game-changing shit that could be the cliffhanger. You know what I mean? Like, yes. midway through. <laughs> Honestly, going is, I didn't know this was going to be the last one, but... Uh... It, uh, it it's it's a, a great cliffhanger to end the end the season off on. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I I would I would definitely say this is the best Steven Universe cliffhanger we've ever gotten. I think that's fair. I think it's really it's yeah. It's, it's a fair yeah. Uh, so before we get any further, we are the crystal gems. We always save the day. And if you think we can't, we'll. Always find a way. That's why the people on this world believe in Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, and Stephen. God damn, just brings a tear to your eye, Dragon. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Where do you want to start off here? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Where do you start? Well, I guess um, something connects to kind of the whole, but we, we do get in the beginning, is that Steven is feeling a lot of guilt and responsibility uh, for the Diamonds targeting Beach City. He kind of puts, mm -hmm. They put it together in the opening. That, okay, the Diamonds are targeting Beach City. And we, the audience, knew this. And Steven somewhat knew this. Uh, in the, uh, and again, kind of the previous Greg universe, so, you know, going go to space to say Greg arc. Right, right. Which ended on the diamonds kind of, kind of, kind of powering through kind of the, the, the purple, uh, sorry, the, uh, crap. Uh, powering through the, um, uh, the pink diamond loss as they kind of had that, what's the use of feeling blue song? He's at the end of it, just kind of realizing, you know, well, you want to start up the human zoo again? Well, you know what champ we're going to do that for you. That's what pink diamond, <laughs> what I want. Essentially, it's yellow diamond giving a uh, blue diamond a pep talk. Oh, mm -hmm. and again, it does link to kind of, uh, does link the Greg universe in, in some capacities. So Steven's, Steven's feeling a lot of, uh, he's feeling more responsibility for the payoff we get in the episode. Sure, sure. Which I think we can talk about a little now, might as well. Just, uh, you know, why is, uh, he, we learn why Steven's friends have been targeted. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dragon, honestly, as much of a gut punch as the end of the episode is, this might be the gut punch that people are sleeping on. This is the one where Stephen realizes, you know, he does hold a great deal of blame for the uh, for uh, for his friend's uh, current uh, dire uh, situation. Uh huh. Uh, basically, we, I love that we get this. We see the actual flashback. We see the actual clip. So Peridot, uh back when she was uh, on the on the back when she was on the on the, the side of the yellow diamond uh and again we see the actual clip it's either the first time steven met her or like one, it was one of the early times steven met her in like oh god it's been so many seasons might even season two i think it's season one actually really that's yeah in the back? yeah i'm pretty sure oh yeah because that yeah, one ends up here that's in the end of one uh -huh. yeah sure uh -huh. yeah i think you're right yes points way back when steven uh you know uh steven's just kind of he's being overly uh he's, Honestly, I love the Stevens arc here. He's kind of realizing it because in his youth, in the season one youth, he was he was his obliviousness and his over his tendency to overshare, his kind of reaching out to people, has as as bit Beach City in a big way. It's kind of brought 
uh, all his friends and family. Uh, I'm sure we're going to find that the rest of the residents of Beach City as well have been have been abducted by by Yellow Diamond because you know they know the coordinates of Beach City. They're targeting it very specifically because of what Stephen said. Yeah, and it also uh, it also kind of speaks volumes to Peridot as well. I mean, of course, of course, our Peridot that we know and love hasn't betrayed the gems in this moment, but it's still kind of a gut punch of like, oh my god, that's right. Peridot was like, wow, like she really did kind of like just completely screw them over as well. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, it's funny, like for as much bonding as Steven and Peridot did, I feel like they have equal blame to share in this. Yes. They do. And by the way, real quick, uh, very minor but related to Peridot Tangent. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know how we have sometimes, especially with Steven, our characters get a little off model at times? Like, not, I shouldn't say off model, they keep changing design models. Like, sometimes it depends like what the animation studio does or like, you know, who, who's kind of boarding it, I guess. Uh -huh. Sometimes Steven's a little thinner, sometimes he's smaller, sometimes the head's oversized. And with Peridot, she's been progressively getting shorter and cutesier. <laughs> yeah, totally. totally. It's I, like think the that's, I think that's intentional. It's like, think about this. Peridot from uh, you know, when uh, Steven's winning her over with the rain and stuff, that's that's the tall that's probably that's the tall Peridot without the limb enhancers. And uh, and now, like with the uh, the Room for Ruby episode, mm -hmm. she's she's much smaller, like on she's on Steven's height, but you know, it's like uh, the hair's like making up more of like the, the height difference. <laughs> Yeah, so the diamond heads, you know, the, the pointed heads getting bigger. Anyway, but you're right though. Yeah, it's a uh, you, you, you gotta imagine when Peridot, when Peridot does find us out, she's gonna be feeling uh, kind of going through Steven's arc as well. Yeah, I think, yeah. I imagine she's going to be uh, fun, uh, she's gonna be key in, in uh, rescuing Steven. I imagine she's she's gonna have a lot of guilt, and that's gonna motivate kind of the Steven rescue. Oh, I can't um, wait. Oh, there's so many things up in the air. So let's, let's let's save most of that for for the very uh, end. So, but sure, the, the sure. point is, though, Steven. Uh, I love that is a fundamental flaw of Stephen that has endangered everyone. So that's weighing on Stephen. Stephen intelligently is kind of putting that together. Like he, his obliviousness of just mentioning, you know, uh, you know, like Lars, Sadie's listing off all his friends, and Onion, I think. And I love that the gems, uh, just because Par I love the absurdity and like the fun logic, logical absurdity that because Paradox takes everything so literally at that stage, you know, she's, <laughs> she's like, oh, right, yeah, right. I think, and, you know, uh, first thing you start with my dad, and of course, that, that hence, the, hence the misunderstanding there, you know, my dad being, uh, being Greg without Greg and Sonny Wars, and they're looking for someone by the name of my dad. Mm -hmm. so, Which is uh, a really cool kind of a uh, way to, you know, like that mystery that we built in the last episode of Are You My Dad? Yeah, honestly, I did somewhat put it together. I figured it was going to be like a miscommunication, but you know, again, it was like it was nice they kind of have that you know really kind of meaningful ways putting that together. The flashbacks, mm -hmm. so at least mm -hmm. they had a good payoff for that. Um, I mean, I shouldn't say you know, versus like an expected payoff. It was like you know we saw it in a cool way. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's talk about like, let's talk a little bit more about our villains here. So again, I debatably the most evil gems we've ever had. So who again are very very similar to. I mean, yeah, because like with Jasper, Jasper kind of like very much kind of like had a whole arc, right? Yeah, Jasper's avenging her diamond. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Which again, misguided as it is, she's still just kind of she's soldier following orders. Exactly. Right. Right. And then with the diamonds, they're just sort of like they're so high up in the arc key that like, you know what I mean? Like you can't really uh, it, like they're sort of separated from everything else. You know what I mean? Like they they sort of don't really have the emotional capacity to know what they're doing. And the scary thing about these villains uh, is just like, oh my God, like they are so malicious, like specifically malicious. You know what I mean? Like the most yeah. malicious gems that we've gotten on the show. Exactly. I think it kind of plays into that gym hierarchy a little bit where uh, without getting like kind of a, you know, what, what certain gems are in terms of quality, but it's looking at it this way that uh, the diamonds of course is being kind of the flawless things that, you know, being sparkly things you know, people look at and just kind of like, these are the things that just are, are the most perfect forms. They don't. They don't have to lift the finger. So they're just kind of like way up, way up on the top of the heap there. Right, right. And as we get down, the ones that do the dirty work, and as we see with the soldiers and stuff, these are the guys who are essentially kind of the mercenary bounty hunters of the gem universe. That's what these guys are. Really. Muscle and muscle and just kind of cruelty. These are just the the cogs in the wheel that that you know make sure the diamonds don't have to lift the finger. Mm -hmm. So again, there's there's so gosh darn you know, devoid of humanity and, and evils, and not like a marine. She just sees, I just I, she I just takes wait. such malice and pleasure in what she's doing. You know, again, what I mean? she, in the the comparison, which again, I would love some confirmation if anyone in the comments can, <laughs> can weigh in on this or just sure, confirmation. Sure. Like, 
looking like Rebecca Sh uh, Rebecca Sugar's like Twitter or something. I don't know. You can find <laughs> out if Darla Dimple and and Max from Cats Don't Dance are the model for these two because it looks identical. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it's uncanny. Oh man. Anyway, uh, so again, I, I honestly just like Marine. She's she's so I wanted to get beat so I want I want our guys to beat him so bad, especially Alcum Marine. Just like, I want someone to punch her in the face, please. Right. Almost as much as I want Unused to kind of catch a stray shot. Which speaking of, <laughs> let's talk about that. Let's talk. Yes. Yeah, so uh, so we talked about Alcum Marine. She's just like this evil little thing. It's like that that ribbon thing she does, and the ribbon turns into like kind of like a collapsible kind mm -hmm. of. Like, uh, it's like syndrome zero point energy essentially. Like she has like zero point energy. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Has like that 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 grab anti gravity thing she can do on people. But on the other hand, Topaz, who is a fusion, uh, when uh, Topaz fusions, of course, and traps humans. And the brilliant device of that is this is a brilliant idea that gems can't attack uh, Topaz because of all the all the civilians that are, that are trapped in there. If uh, Garnet's about to punch uh, Topaz and then uh, her old her ex. Well, not her ex, you know, her, her possible ex, Jamie, is is entrapped. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that. that's such a fun moment. Oh Garnet, my god. I moved on, I swear. I swear, Garnet. Oh god. I lost it at that, to be honest. Jamie was funny. It's always fun to see Jamie. Oh, fun fact, fun fact, Dragon. Love Letters was actually the very first Steven Universe episode I uh, I reacted to. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know. Anyway. <laughs> so, so yeah, just uh, it, it's so. Uh, Jamie has a really great moment in this episode, which we'll get to. We'll get to in moments because we're building upon this. But yeah, just still, it's, I think it's such a brilliant idea. It kind of takes him back to one of the deleted uh, uh, Superman Lives ideas. The whole Superman fighting a doomsday was constructed of like heads that morph into his his loved ones. So just, oh God, time. right, right. <laughs> it kind of takes me back to that idea, but it's also this. Uh, well, you you saw this one. It's like Mirror Worlds. I don't mean. The last episode we mentioned, I mentioned Batman. I mentioned the the world's finest thing. Oh, you're remember, remember world's finest. Yes, I Superman. remember world's finest. Yes, and I remember when he can't hit, he can't stop the giant leg spot because Mercy's tied to the front of it. He <laughs> right, right. It keeps turning, so he can't punch it. So you know, just uh, I'm just saying, it's kind of in the same vein of you. Know, I think it's such a brilliant way of like you know, our guys, our guys can't fight the, can't just beat the stuffing out of these guys and unfortunately as much as I'd love to see Pearl just land a shot on on Aquamarine she just she can't because then she's called in the zero point energy thing mm -hmm. yeah so boy and then we have a really uh, uh, um, let, me, let me say this though before we move on to the kind of the, the payoff of the humans kind of caught in the thing uh, the uh, the the you are my dad uh, the are you my dad and the I am yeah, my mom thing. I love I love the symbolism of that because the because the the dad side of that represents you know as as Stephen uh, Stephen's human side. Mm -hmm. you know, the whole like the whole my dad misunderstanding. So him saying you know he is his dad. It's kind of like in the episode you kind of read into a level of that saying like, he he claiming that is like I am I'm more human than I am Jim. And by the end, it's of course the reverse of that. I'm more Jim than human. Right. Right. Oh God. There's so many cool things up in the air with Steven's character by the end of this thing. I was saying that's a cool kind of level with the kind of with the titles and kind of mm -hmm. the whole misunderstanding of that. So now we have the chilling one of the most chilling moments in Steven Universe to be honest with you. I'm I mean it's chilling on, on like a very kind of we almost went there angle of like uh this is why Aquamarine's just the most evil gym ever. She Oh God when this scene happened just when Aquamarine <laughs> just says uh you know the the diamond said they wanted these uh they wanted these humans back. Did they mention alive? Right. Oh right. god. And then we have this poor poor bit here where poor Jamie. I oh, thought man. they were gonna go there for a second, Dragon. I, really I wondered. Did. I wondered. Can they? Would they? Because no. Jamie would be a character that's pretty expendable in this show. Yes, and we kind of we gave him a bit with the uh, with the distinguished boy. Uh, boy right. Jackies. Right. He had a purpose. He did something, which means, oh, we're going to remember him for something. And no! <laughs> but no, seriously, it just uh, Topaz is clutching Jamie's head as if he was going to crush her, snap his neck. I, or I was That's... really on the edge of my seat with that. I was really like, oh my God. Oh my God. So then uh, Stephen kind of sacrificed himself, kind of tricking the, the again, as menacing and, and evil as they are, they are really stupid when you think about <laughs> it. And Uncle Marie, she's really not too bright. Just again, not real, no vetting process for the whole my dad thing. Mm -hmm. 
you gotta figure at least you, if you captured everyone in BC, you probably captured my day. You don't realize it, which implies where is Greg Universe after all? Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm curious about Did that. Did we recapture might... Greg Universe by accident? He might just be hanging out with his friends over at the zoo. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, oh, Greg. It's Greg. <laughs> it's Greg. Let's all marry. Let's all marry Greg. Oh, God. <laughs> God. Anyway, let's see. Uh... <laughs> Uh, where was it? Where was it so then we have the I love the bubble payoff because it seems like it's such a cool moment. Stephen kind of like in pearls asking Stephen, do you know what you're doing? And he just gives us he gives that awesome kind of thumbs up. Thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, right. And, right. Uh, honestly, like Greg, and honestly, like I was kind of alluding to earlier, that would have been a perfect cliffhanger right there. The episode could have ended right there. It could have. And I would have been satisfied. He could, but it gets even better, right? Oh yeah, totally, totally. That yeah, would have satisfied us, but no, it's like we got more. We got more time left. Let's make it better. Make it better. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the bubble pay off. Actually, I love that it's not just like okay, Stevenson hot water. Like no, no, it actually does. Yeah, it actually does bubble his way out of the fusion. Mm -hmm. So then we have uh, Stevens, and this is a cool idea. Steven, right now, just with the whole uh, you know dad mom kind of divide there, it's kind of with this kind of processing a lot of stuff. Not only just like who who he's in more in line with. That's not really the immediate thought. The immediate thought is I'm responsible for everyone being in this hot water. It's my yeah, fault. Yeah, we need to get all these people the hell out of here. Yeah, I mean, Stephen, uh, in the moment, he's he's so guilt ridden. He's too guilt ridden to fuse with Connie, which was putting everyone in danger. Mm hmm. We have a really cowardly bit with Lars, which I gotta tell you, from I was really getting excited because like Lars is gonna fight off this thing somehow, but then he just ran away. <laughs> oh, I was getting so excited because he crunched the, you know, he, he made a fist and he's like, oh god, it's gonna be amazing. And this, uh, well, that's so much for that one. That would have been his moment. That's would have been a payoff, but we're gonna do things with Lars, so we'll see where it goes. Yeah, yeah. Just saying that's uh, not not well reflecting on Lars's character, just. Well, I mean, like you said, I think there's a reason why Lars is with Steven at the end of the episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's you just, saw, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see. Then we have the uh, uh, a blast from the past. It's Alexandrite saving him. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, I love, that. I, love, I love this very simple device of we can't see the outside. We don't cut to the outside. So they say they're, they're lifting off, and we just have, as far as she knows, I guess, is that they are lifting up. They're probably caught in the palm of Alexandrite's hands, maybe. Right, right. <laughs> reveal there mm -hmm. so I, as they're trying to evacuate trying to jump out of the thing kind of sully style does not work <laughs> <laughs> which because, sully oops uh, <laughs> uh the the tom hanks sully okay okay <laughs> just, just to clarify just to clarify <laughs> uh they're trying to kind of evacuate you know sully style does not work mm-hmm because oh, uh god because yeah. of the uh the zero point thing yeah yeah Oh, we're and not then, riffs in that solely. We are referencing Pixar's. <laughs> I keep it. I know that's why. That's why I wanted to clarify, Dragon. That's why I wanted to clarify. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Holy crap! Moment. Wow. Wow. Stephen makes a big sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, is this an awesome yeah. moment? Where yeah. Yeah. Just he's doing. Yeah. You get my point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Stevens making the big sacrifice. Essentially, he's taking responsibility where his mother debatably did not. No, I think that's absolutely what it is. Yeah, and I honestly got to say, Dragon, in this moment, I really do think that Rose, the Rose Quartz part of Steven is shining through. You know what I mean? Like, right. this is as much Rose Quartz as it is Steven. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, it's... Oh. Wow. Wow. So it's, uh, it's it's a great bit. He's accepting his. I mean, it's such a dangerous position because we know how dangerous these guys are, and just mm -hmm. the fact that he's just basically saying, "Hey, remember that bounty you're going again? They're not going after an actual bounty; they're following yours." But my point is, like, hey, remember this one job you had? I'm a more important job. <laughs> you know, right, basically, right. You know, he's accepting his mother's infamy to save. Oh God! Like and the, of course, the, the whole Rose lines. Quartz thing, Dragon. That was something that we were totally on edge about during the last Steven bomb. You know what I mean? Like even mm -hmm. like even like Greg bringing up Rose Quartz or anything like that. Oh yeah, I mean just the moment that just like sends a chill in your spine. It's like a jaw drop moment because you know Steven's in real hot water. It's just the bit where he says, "I'm, I'm Rose Quartz. I guess I'm I am my mom. I'm Rose Quartz." The uh, the quartz that shattered pink diamond mm -hmm. just uh, owning mm -hmm. that just oh. Uh, 
uh, just I sh the one that shattered ping. I was like, not only am I rose quartz, I'm that rose quartz. Darn right, it! Right. <laughs> so oh boy, oh boy. And then it's like, it all comes to a halt, and then you know, sur him surrendering himself, and then we get the shot. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The shot that kind of summarizes everyone's reaction to the ending of the episode here. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh god, just again, Vera like just, just, you know, it's just a gut punch, man. It's like everyone is just freaking out, like Pearl's freaking out, Connie's freaking out. Like Amethyst is getting real Jimmy scared. Says, hey, you better get down here. <laughs> right, right. Oh so, god. Oh boy, oh boy. And just again, this moment, like, Vera Farmer is giving like a thumb, an acting thumbs up. <laughs> like, just saying, <laughs> it's like the th thumbs up from Familia. Just, you know, just giving a, oh, it's a beautiful moment, Pearl. You're doing it right. Uh -huh. But seriously, just oh god, such a it's hard because the tear Pearl can't even say a word. Like she says, Stephen. That's a, she says, Stephen. Just the, she's gasping. She she can't process it. So um, it's emotional in so many levels. The fact you know Rose in danger because of Rose is always has an, an impact on Pearl. But just the fact that Stephen, you know, oh god, it's just he sacrificed himself and he's in the worst possible situation in which the gems cannot immediately help. Mm -hmm. And that's where the episode ends. Stephen being absconded with again, it's like the Greg Universe thing all over again. That's where we end the season. He's been taken. And Dragon, I also just the moment that's just really powerful to me as well is uh, the last line is "I love you" to Connie. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh. Well, I, I thought it was just to everyone. I didn't really just felt oh, I, I I thought it was to Connie because because uh, Connie's the last one. She has the last word in. I, that, that's fair. I didn't, I, I didn't get the I still to everyone, but that, that, that's cool, though. I mean, that, that, we'll see how there it goes, maybe. Mm -hmm. No, right. Connie screams that, uh, that uh, you know, don't you dare follow them. Mm -hmm. And then and then Steven yells, I love you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I could be reading too much into that, but... But again, just again, folks, you just want some nation like how we feel about the episode again. Let Pearl do the job for us. <laughs> right, right. And Dragon, all I can say is like, thank freaking God that we know when the next episode is, and it's not some like like far off hiatus land. We'll see you next year. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> New January of twenty eighteen. Oh God. <laughs> We're gonna reveal what happened to Steven. Up oh, delay. More Teen Titans go. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have to wait until March. More Teen Titans go. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> but again, if we just want with just paired with this image real quick, this episode broke new ground. It did, absolutely, <laughs> in a very real way, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it did. This episode did a lot of really great things. Uh, I guess let's talk about the 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 awesome promo we got for the next episode for the I beginning. Did not see of the stuff. promo, so fill me in. Fill me in. Well, just the just the, the interesting cliff notes because apparently everything was interesting, but it's the ones we could decipher is that. Uh, I, I can. We, it's pretty safe to assume Stephen is going to have scenes with the diamonds, and he's going to be facing off against the diamonds, and it will be amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, we're finally. Uh, it seems that like we're finally setting Lars straight because he's paired with Stephen in the episode. Because you know, Lars was still on the ship, so he and Lars are going to be paired up mm -hmm. on the you know on Homeworld. Which, uh, well, presumably, uh, presumably, Steven's going to home run and not going to the space station at the zoo. Presumably. Uh, we don't know that for sure. I'm just saying that would be like, you know, Steven's going to have to make it. the first time we get a real look at Homeworld. True. True. I mean, I, I expect us to go to Homeworld because, hey, it's, uh, yeah, everyone else got to wait. No one else would be going to the zoo, so we didn't even have to stop off at the zoo. Just sure, them, sure. So our guys be I'm just saying we know the zoo was like our location where we went to the where you know, where pink, where blue diamond resides at the zoo, so it's it's unclear. I say that because blue diamond, the big the big jaw dropping image from the episode, from mm -hmm. the promo, is uh, blue uh, is blue diamond looking staring down Stephen and just oh, saying whatever. God. Here's the old, here's the you ready for it? You ready for it? So we like saw like a quick shot of like you know, the old diamond zapping the crap out of things. We we didn't see what she was zapping, at, but then we have at, played over that is blue diamond saying. <laughs> Whatever my friend has in store for you, I have something much worse. Oh my God! Oh geez! That's Essentially, I, I'm paraphrasing wow. a little bit, pretty much saying whatever she has for you, I'm going to do something. It, it's very much, very close to that. Just saying, I have something. Whatever she was, she and whatever horrible thing she's going to do to you, I'm going to do something much worse. Mm -hmm. And his blue diamond staring down Stephen. Oh, they had the scale thing with the giant head looking. Mm -hmm. Stephen just saying that, like, oh god. 
So big stuff coming up. And Dragon, I think it is very possible that season five is going to be the last season. Really? I, I think that's very possible. Rebecca Sugar's mentioned five seasons before. I also think that at this point, the story is really coming to a head. We're getting like some really, really dramatic stuff. Like Steven's really taking on the responsibility of Rose Quartz. Uh, as we mentioned in our discussion about Lion 4, I feel like they're kind of like the the well is running a little dry on the Rose Quartz stuff besides the obvious like birth of Steven episode that we need to get. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I really do think season five could be it, and I think season five could be a satisfying end. You want me to pitch you something awesome for season five? Go ahead. Uh, at least for this for this next theme, wherever we wrap it up, imagine this. If we go to the zoo, remember in the zoo we have a whole bunch of bubbled quartzes, so I'm mm -hmm. thinking quartz rebellion to take down, take down the diamonds. Oh my god. <laughs> Stephen unbubbles all the quartz and leads an army to defeat the diamonds. That would be pretty epic. <laughs> huh? okay. Pretty cool. All right, so I think that about does it, Dragon. Unless you have any other final thoughts or spec or anything like that. I think Pearl says it all, but again, it's an amazing episode. I really kind of speculate about the Quartz Army. Uh, right. And just again, on the whole, this pair is so well with the other one, just the other one just builds up with that, that tension, that intrigue, and that mystery. And this one just is like all the awesome uh, payoffs of. A lot of really great, great and inventive ideas. Is they we have villains you really kind of love to hate. Like, oh god, I want pros to smash one of those guys in the face. Mm -hmm. like, not only onion, but smash one of those bad guys in the face. <laughs> oh god, I'm, 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 I'm well now probably can't because now onion's free. <laughs> but uh, you know, oh, god. so I'm dying to see Pearl kind of go up against Aquamarine, just kind of you know, take care of business, oh. or just to see this just for the the sheer scale of it. I want to like. Garnet just like basically pound the fist down. Imagine this. I'm not saying she does like the super oversized fist thing, but just even with a regular fist, it's just like she had so much force behind it. She's punched. She she bopped Aquamarine on the head so hard and so abruptly that the, she would be shattered in well, not shattered. She would be uh, you know, she'd be uh, the physical body would be the short, so like only the, the teardrop gem would be left. Ooh. But like in one foul swoop, how awesome would that be? Yeah, yeah. A lot of cool potential. Take that, Aquamarine. <laughs> but again, really good episode. All right. So, folks, uh, until Memorial Day, we are the Crystal Gems. We always save the day. And if you think we can't, we'll always find a way. That's why the people of this world believe in Tiki. Dragon. And, and Steven. Steven. Don't go, Steven. Don't go. Don't go. Don't do it. <laughs>